important to note, not directed by Michael Bay. I think still produced by Michael Bay. And yeah, he makes a cameo. Uh, <laughs> he does make a really hilarious cameo. And I thought I my note about it right when I saw it was, dude, he's probably so stoked to be in one of his own 360 degree dolly <laughs> shots right now. <laughs> dude, that, that's the shot that they chose. I know. And I was so happy when they did it. Like I was, I was, I got to say, I was a little bit more, you know, kind of lukewarm on this, on this film. Uh, I do plan on rewatching it just to see, but that shot alone, I I had to give a big thumbs up for that one because I mean, you you fucking Michael Bay and Michael Bay, that's that's yeah. that's high skills, yeah. high praise. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's 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 such a good joke to like take a very famous Michael Bay shot and literally put Michael Bay in it. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I loved that. <laughs> so it's it's a good little like filmic meta joke on their part. Um, and I will say I, I wasn't as, I, 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 I did want to like this more. Like this is nowhere yeah. near as good as bad boys too. No. Like not even close. No. <laughs> um, you can, you can also feel that it's trying really, really hard to be people who aren't Michael Bay being like, we need to honor Michael Bay, which is nice. Um, yeah, yeah. but it's, but it's, but it's also kind of like, in my opinion, they were like, okay, we need to revive these Michael Bay movies but we need to do it in a modern blockbuster like landscape where we need to have this script that has like very coherent emotional ideas about uh, aging and coming back and you know these guys histories and which is like totally fine i understand that that's like just you know that is an idea for you know bringing a franchise back but it, there is this weird thing about talking about bad boys in general as like not some weird thing that came out of a gross plastic dude's head, but instead <laughs> like a brand. And yeah. you do feel that this is like, you know, despite the fact that it has all the insanely oversaturated colors, it has insane action. It has Violence. Martin Lawrence and Will Smith, um, both like having good chemistry and riffing at each other. Um, it, it, every once in a while it throws in a Michael Bay, like bodily gross out gag, like that dude who gets completely gutted by the forklift, which is just like a really gross death oh, yeah. or like the dude, the goose who, head, uh, the, the bump on his head that kind of like, yeah, he's poking at yeah. So like you can, you can feel that they're like the Bayisms are there, it just but you, feels you can like feel th- surrounded by a, a more Hollywood plastic Thing, which is odd to say because it's, and I don't know if I mean plastic. Michael Bay is that Hollywood plastic yeah, thing, right? So but there's it's like something thing about where... because his plastic comes with a lot of gross, disgusting dirt and slime that's put onto it. I, I, yeah. I don't know. There's something that I love about that that we've talked endlessly about that. I won't get into it. But... Oh, well, yeah, and, and something so deliriously like unhinged. Yeah. About like when he gets into an action scene, it's like there's no escape. You're in a Michael Bay action scene. Yeah, exactly. Whereas this, even though the action is competent and like some of it is even fun, I felt like it was like this. It didn't have, again, it it feels so weird to be critiquing this just because like the action is perfectly fine. It's some better action than I've seen in a lot of action movies that come out, especially, you know, like main release superhero movies and stuff like that. It's violent. There's car chases. There's like even some inventive beats within the car chases where the action goes on forever. Um, And there actually is gore and blood and stuff like that in the action. But you definitely do feel that like, they're like, okay, well, what if we did bad boys, but we did like, you know, a more dramatically kind of coherent and I guess also a little bit more boring version of the story. Yeah. And we did like some like John Wick action or something. And I guess just because like the action is now filmed, which is like fine, but like, it's like, because I would rather John Wick action, I guess, be like the default Hollywood action, but it's just weird that that is what it is now. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, that's what I felt like when they do the garage action sequence, for instance, I, I was like, okay, this is, this is well shot. This is, uh, you know, it's coherent. Uh, you're not doing a bunch of like fast edits. Uh, you know, these are in one shot for a lot of the time, but I, it, I don't, it didn't feel like bad boys. Like even with Michael Bay, like there was nothing, there's a lot, for instance, there's a lot of CGI blood and gore in this and it's yeah. slightly noticeable. Whereas like there's nothing that compares to like Michael Bay making a bunch of naked prosthetic bodies to toss out of a van and, and then throw Blow a head a into a windshield and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just, there's nothing that even comes close to that. And, and I, I missed it. Honestly, I just, I missed the Bayhem. This isn't, 
the bad boys that I particularly enjoy just because it's not the tone like even and we were discussing this a little bit before which was comparing it to the first bad boys it's like I didn't I tooed the first bad boys and I honestly just don't feel comfortable giving this a, a larger score because as much as you know we have problems with the first bad boys it did set a tone and it did create this whole thing that we now love and I just I mm-hmm. can't I don't want to give this one you know, a bigger <laughs> nod of the hat than the first one, even though I do have a lot of issues with the first one. Yeah, you, see, you I was going to say, I, 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 I do get it, but I do think overall for me that, like, there's more, like, I, I think that in general, the filmmaking here is a little bit better, or the maybe, I guess, just even some of the writing is a little bit better than, see, than for me, the first I, I, I feel the, the writing, I, I totally get you, because some of these character stuff does really work for me, but I'm still, I'm seeing the machine. And and I right. and I don't like it. Like when they're yeah, you know they're that. they're going through this thing where they're trying to make Mike like.